Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniffling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little boo Who? Mommy doesn't love you. You little shit. Ow, calm down. I hate babies, and I hate children. They're dirty, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little... already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids. What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, sniveling, snotty... Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't I, kiddies? Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. What a nice lady. Still, you know, I hear there's good money in ice cream. Give me a break. You better tell him, Mario. I got those boys you want. See, si, Ming? Hey, easy, papi. This is for me. You! You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti, let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Amigo, you're the man, man! Call yourself a man, man?
a little scaredy kitten, baby boy. Go cry to your mommy. Sniper! Thank 
to attend 19 West Meter IT. This is the 10, 21 West Meter IT. Fight like men with huge cojones! Tommy, we have proved our mental bravery. Let us steal the mental and make a good escape. This is what the dance is going to be. This is what the dance is going to be. Alberto, uno cafe, Papa. senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a whip, baby boy. The Haitians, man, they're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me. Tommy, at me. Umberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Umberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you are a real man. Businessmen, a gentleman. These Haitians, they have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it, and we finish them. You take it, and I look after you. Like my brother. Like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo.
guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things that are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, uh, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Fair needs to pick it up from Starfish Island. Any takers? Tommy here, I'll take it. You know who we work for. Get out of your car! That's so totally not cool. Come on, come on, get it, quick. Okay, okay, just please don't hurt me. Can't compete. Mr. Bassetti, if you're out there listening in, you wanna put some BC caps out of action before we go back! Son of Mercedes.
time for Kaufman's Cab's Guardian Angel to eat some fender. Tommy, glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> uh, Jez, you remember. Love Don't be playing them games with me, mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English. American no, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some like help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old ass, totally your father. Done. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fish, yeah, no, beauty, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, Dan. Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You can do boys. that for the boys, right? For something special, I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. Just the girl. Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. Big boy. Man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gas. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Why, this cat knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes you. Shut up, you that. fool. Just hey. get Jess bomb yes. sheet to love rocket thing, can? Wait, <laughs> shut yeah, up. Yeah, the love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants Love Fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love Fist, gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save Love We've Fist. We've got a sign in, in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there.
ruined my life. Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's brought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles a bike. There's nothing my money can't buy. All right, fancy clothes, let's see what you can do. Rossetti, Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I going to have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's going to sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. 
This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non-ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. All right. All right.
big mistake, idiot. Hey, it's Mitch. You did good, Tommy. It's good to have the old girl back. You tell Kent Paul, he'll get his security for the gig. You have my word on that. Now keep yourself out of trouble. Tommy! Tommy! Tommy, man, that safe goes back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man, and now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats! Shell, me, I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. At last, man. Time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? It's just a hundred yards to the road, then? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look! What's this? Hey, Tommy! Stick this tape on! No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. You gotta find it, Bob! Can't we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine! We need to get! We're all the going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a queue here, pal! Hey, mate, the answer's near the drinks cabinet. Screw him away! Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Ah! Ah! It's wire to blow! Ah! Ah! I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she's coming. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fast, pal. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something? What kind of crap is that? I've seen braver quines. Okay, tough guy, you do I something. Know. Look, man, I play a musical instrument. I think I call you about bomb disposal. Well, he could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. Are you a straw? This is a love face to a bus. For my guy get a straw fake here by me. Which wire, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, 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 is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, net and death in the car, Tommy, it looks green. I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet. Big screaming girl. I shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one. No. Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, my oh. nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a gig to go to. A racket to make. Groupies to abuse. Oh, fast. Oh, fast. Oh, fast. Have you finished with our ball? Again? This rate will never get a play like. Oh, shite! 
my bottles. Right, we got to go on it, uh, so uh, thanks again, Tommy. Give him a nice one. Bye. Hello, Tommy. Yeah. It's Baker. Just wanted to say I really enjoyed the show. Me and the boys want to thank you and remind you, you got our respect. Good day. Keep riding hard, son. My dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? Shh. I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The Cubans, nasty, proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my lovely Haitian boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poulet. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. A uh, uh, smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... The Cubans have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. My nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea.
Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys can war with them Cuban boys, but no guns. Mm, but the Cubans have a surprise coming. While they fight in the streets, you take this rifle and kill them in the hubbub. No one sees you, no one hear you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me, and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. Amigo, bueno, hey, en putas, muerte. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Hello, my compadres. Is 
man go control everything. Okay, in you go. I know the spirit's passing. Going to plant the bomb. Cover me. I will touch your soul like a spider. the cafe. Oh, wonderful. Incredible, Tommy. Incredible. No whims, Tommy. Just real men. And the beautiful women. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, me and Papi, to us, you're Cuban. You have proved yourself, man. You got big cojones. Well, thank you, Umberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art! Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, uh... Um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, <laughs> wow. What's that guy think this is? Some free art crap? Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? Show me some ID. Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home you today. Know, I Can you believe this asshole? Watch it. Mercedes. 
Hey, Tommy, you want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. Shark. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer.
Tommy. Sonny. Obviously you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... Don't give a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem on the phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy aspects of this nation's great entertainment industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, you know Shrub. Do you guys get up to anything kinky? Okay. Uh huh. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 You got that. Was that part of the uh? Was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she leads you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah. Get him a camera. Martha, someone's watching. <laughs> How kinky. You, give me that Point. 
to ascend 19 south by point. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... Now's my star director. Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action continues unabated. <sighs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? No. Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, premieres. Oh, yes, oh. ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the press and the barrage of lights.
What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I'll fall up done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about.
me a break. I killed myself, Mario. Take it easy. I take the whole family with me, man. Ah! We are in big time, man. Better tell him, Mario. Tommy, hey Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, that schmuck, he's on the inside. Where inside? and a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled.
Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. I'm in Lose the heat and get me back to my place. For the Dam 19 in Central Washington Beach. It is the Dam 21 in Central Washington Beach. job and you're my safe cracker beats losing my ass in his cell things are starting to come together nicely here what's the plan Tommy que pasa amigo the plan is you keep doing that like a moron <laughs> anyhow we need a driver Tommy I'll do it I can drive <laughs> you won't Hillary mister not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay. I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues? Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You, Tommy? Oh. Of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if... And only if you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you.
Okay, I'll drive for you, but please tr treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you got to consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now, that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's going to be no problem. We got Camon safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the get I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around. And leave very rich men. Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. Yeah, bitch. Or two. Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. God's sakes, Bill, stop waving that thing around. Driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Okay, guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. upstairs. G9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Bill! Things still sweet? Sure! Everything's real quiet.
it's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! Lake City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. You rotten bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place! Take cover! Tommy, what I tell ya? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I gotta get some new friends. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Ridge and Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, yeah? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out, yeah? Bill? Run! Run! Never get a naked life too close to where the Phil Cassidy's moonshine still. Shit, Phil. Did uh, you drink that stuff? Hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. There's some Mexican gun runner. Been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <laughs> hey! Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off.
me that back, tough guy. Okay, we're done. Calm down. Drop it in, put the car, push, dump down. Man, it smells like paint stripper. Let's make my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Like, Don't oof. you worry about the smell, oof. Tommy. You just watch this. <sighs> Shitty, cheap, bad news or something. There's some more on the bench.
watch out. Charlie the tree light. Made of jelly. Broken spoon. The mother again. You got me. Spoon. Hey. Woo, 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 woo. Not the hospital, man. Too many cops in Viet Cong. There's an ex-army surgeon who owes me a few favors and a lot more. He's got a place down Little Havana. Oh, look, a giant fish. He's coming. Boy. Now, it's Bill. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. B.J. Smith, and you must be Mr. Bassetti. Would you like the tour? Might as well. Well, I'm very sad to be selling the dealership to y'all. This is my first investment after I turn pro. But now, it's time for me to move on. You're leaving town. Not in too much of a hurry, I hope. No, I'm just coming out of retirement and preparing for my future comeback. The business wasn't too strong, and my staff took it upon themselves to get a bit more creative with the generational wealth. <laughs> Obviously, I could wind down the business before handing it over. Hell! I could burn the place down if I wanted to. This is prime development land. Oh, I wouldn't worry about any of that. This place seems perfect. Yeah, it does. So I take it we have a deal. Mr. Vassetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was going to follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, but just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. Dodgy Reddy's is to try and supply the plates. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You know, 
They've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks. Oh. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back, got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later.
Tommy, Tommy, we got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. Oh, okay, what's the emergency? Oh, oh Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too! I love them. I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I... Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken... You get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. 
Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? Sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick! Oh, you think so? Sonny, 
And now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy! Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys, he never understood a thing. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're going to be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I, I mean, that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? Interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay. What about her? Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she can do what she likes. But Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Tommy, the shame. The shame. You know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please tell me it isn't so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Colonel, I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. 
Anyway, don't give me that iron a mug. Who set you up in this town? Who? Oh, me, that's who. Really? Don't give me that, don't. I introduced you to people, I showed you the ropes. Like, There's a lot of stuff for you, and this is how you repay me. You ignore me. You won't give me a way in, or after all that I did for you. What do you think I am, a dude or something? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy, don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Moose. That's what I said in Bolstal. You are skip the trouble, son, because you're going to get it. <laughs> Tell me, mate, please. Use me big O, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep. Seriously. Thank <laughs> you. 